Good afternoon, everyone. As you know, my name is Albert, and I am a certified behavioral therapist. So let's hop right into the affirmation. Allow me to accept that I cannot stalk, courage to give up stalking, and the wisdom to find someone emotionally available. Yeah. I know Valentine's Day is a particularly tough time for all of us. Would anyone like to go first? I'll go first. Okay, um, hi, my name's Dakota, and I am, um, I'm sorry, It's can okay, I just tell us what brought you here. Okay, um, okay. So, I mean, it started out pretty normal. I came across this gorgeous couple on Instagram that would always go to Disney, and whenever they were at the parks, they would always tag when they were there. And I lived about 10 minutes away from the park, so I thought maybe I could go and see them sometime. So I would periodically maybe go see if I could see them on a ride or two every now and then, and all of a sudden I got all these great photos that would go to the Disney photo app, and it would be these beautiful photos of them just having a wonderful time, and me off to the side staring longingly at them. Do I have a restraining order? Yes, but... I now have 10 years worth of Christmas cards, and <laughs> I mean, who really won here, right? Jennifer, would you like to go next? Uh, okay. I guess mine is the typical story. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Hi, I'm Jennifer Bates. <laughs> I met Tiffany when I was a freshman in college, and I knew immediately she was the kind of person I wanted to be. She invites a whole group of us to her, her summer house uh, for spring break, and <sighs> my room was next to hers, and at night I could hear her having sex with her boyfriend, and it was so, 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 so good. And I just knew I didn't have that kind of passion like the both of them had in my life and I wanted a way to, to remember it. And so the day I left, I, uh, I took the sheets off of Tiffany's bed, stuffed them in my suitcase and took them back to college with me. <laughs> I still haven't washed them. They just smell so, so good. We call that stalking? Give me a break. When we were kids, our dad took us to see Creedence Clearwater Revival. It was awesome. Let's put it this way. We were obsessed. At first, we'd just take something normal, a guitar pick. A lock of hair, it was no big deal. It wasn't until we had a container of his urine that we said, hey, maybe this is a little bit too much. The restraining order had nothing to do with it. Not at all. And that little girl is how you stalk. Sorry, my first time. I honestly don't know why it started. This nice girl returned my wallet a few months ago and I was so grateful. I decided to bake her a thank you cake. Now, I didn't want to seem creepy, so I put the cake on her doorstep. You know, I'd written thanks in, in, in frosting. It was really nice, but she didn't respond. She didn't come to my house or anything. So, I decided I needed to learn a little more info about her. I recently met her mom. The two of us have become close friends. I got a copy of the key to Rachel's house. And so now, I place a cake on her kitchen table on the first day of the month, every month, 
that says thanks. I just really wanted her to know how much I appreciate it, but she won't even respond. God damn it. Austin Cheevers, I fucking knew it was you. Rachel, what are you doing here? This whole thing is a setup, dude. I hired all of these actors and set up this meeting so I could get you to come here and confess that it's you who's been leaving those creepy ass cakes in my house. I just wanted to thank you. You see that? I got you on tape, Austin. So leave me alone or I'll go to the cops and my mom. No, don't tell Alice, she's so lovely. Just leave me alone. So you guys made this all up? Yeah, but you should have known that, right? Honestly, John Fogarty, oh, come on.